in the series of lectures on ring frame my next lecture is about builder motion this one is the diagram of builder motion in this case the ring ring is suspended by the belt from a disc b mounted on a shaft w the full weight of the rail is carried by the disc and generated a turning moment at the other end of the shaft there is another disc a this second disc acting via the chain k and chain drum t presses the lever h with the roller o against the heart shape cam e the rotation of the eccentric heart shape cam presses the lever and the chain drum continuously raised up and down this moment is transferred to the ring rail with the help of these discs disc b and disc c together with the chain and belt thus giving traverse movement each time the lever moves down it presses the catch to release the ratchet wheel which enables a slight rotation of the drum connected to the ratchet a short length of chain k is thus wound up on the drum this leads to rotation of disc a shaft and disc b and finally to slight raise rise in the position of the ring rail that is left the shaft w also carried the third disc c from which balloon control ring and lappets are suspended by the belts these are correspondingly raised and lowered but since disc d is slightly smaller than disc b the stroke length is somewhat shorter this next diagram is about building the base the ba base of the cop is curved on its exterior in order to enable as much yarn as possible to the take up on the package this curvature arises because of a mechanism called thumb deflector or cam as i have explained raising and lowering of the ring rail comes about because of heart shape eccentric cam moves the lever up and down and thus the disc thus the disc a is continuously turned alternately to the clockwise and anti clockwise direction the disc a carries a cam or deflector or thumb which project projects beyond the periphery of the disc and thus forms a log of larger diameter than the rest of the disc at the start of the winding of a cop disc a is located in the position shown in this diagram in which 
this cam noticeably deflects the chain k the effect of this deflection is that the chain elongation upon raising of the lever h is not wholly transferred to the ring rail part of this is lost as deflection at the n as a result of which the traverse stroke of ring rail becomes shorter however since the length of yarn delivered during each traverse stroke is the same the volume per layer is increased thereby generating the curvature now in the further course of the spinning operation the chain take up disc t is steadily turned to the left in small steps by the ratchet wheel the chain is thereby wound up on the disc and thus shortens accordingly the disc a turn to the right in the same small steps and the cam carried out of line with the chain finally the complete elongation of the chain is passed on to the ring rail and thereafter the cob takes up its normal build after which normal winding takes place this was the formation of curved base and all about builder motion thank you